my name is Vince Farrell and I'm a Senior Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. In this video, I want to show off some functionality in linear sketch patterns that can save you time. I'm working on a plane propeller here and I want to add in some features for manufacturing. I already have a couple of sketches that I'm going to use for the features. This sketch is going to be a revolved cut for mounting the propeller. I have a construction line at a 3 degree angle and a square because that is the shape and orientation that I need for this mounting feature. I'll start a linear pattern. The default is the x-axis as the direction for the pattern, but I can use my construction line instead. I'll specify spacing and instances to add a couple more squares and then create a revolved cut. Next, I want to add some text for the installer so that they know which way is up when they are mounting it. This sketch already has some construction geometry in it. I'm going to add in text that says up and make sure it's the position and size that I want. I also want to put it on the bottom of the face. Instead of doing more construction geometry and text, I'll use the linear pattern again. This time, I could use the y-axis as the pattern direction, but I'll just use this vertical construction line like I did in the previous sketch. I'll put in the spacing and instances and flip the direction, then create a cut for the feature. Perfect! Hopefully this video showed you some useful and time-saving ways to use linear sketch patterns. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel for more videos like this, and thanks for watching.